God and good afternoon. This is a great day that the Lord has prepared for us. And this afternoon I want to welcome all of you wherever you're watching us from. Uh, this is Cornerstone Faith Assembly. Where grace and love abide. At uh, this lunch hour moment, we want to worship the Lord and right alone we shall hear the word of God from the anointed one. Our very own Apostle Pastor Julius. Julius. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here is the band to take us to the next level and even to the throne of God. So wherever you are, just prepare yourself whether in office, whether in a working place or even at home let us worship the Lord for God needs your worship and my worship and he is worthy to be worshipped so once again I say karibuni sana so welcome the band
Thank you for availing yourself this entire week. Asante kwa kupatikana kwa wiki hii yote. And may God bless you so much. Na Mungu nawabariki sana. The viewers will continue to host you and to welcome you today. Kwa tazamaji wetu tuendelea kuwakaribisha kama wenye jioni leo. We kindly ask you to share this broadcast. Na tuomba ya kwamba muweze kushirikisha wengine matangazo haya. You can invite people so that they can be blessed. Alika watu ili waweze kubarikiwa. And we know you have been blessed by the worship that has been brought forth by the well able team. Na tuajua kwamba umebarikiwa na sifa na ibada ambazo zimeelekezwa na viongozi wanao uwezo. Now we enter into the ministry of the word. Na sasa tuingia kwenye huduma ya neno. And we pray the Lord we find a, a, a way to communicate to you this day. Na tuomba ya kwamba Bwana akapate njia ya kuweza ku uh, kuwasiliana na wewe leo in Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. I pray the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Na naomba Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you for this wonderful day. Asante kwa Siku Thank you for this awesome and marvelous hour that you have blessed. Ya asante kwa sababu ya wakati huu wa ajabu ambao Bwana umetenda. And above all we thank you for the Holy Spirit. Na juu ya kila kitu tunashukuru kwa sababu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Thank you because he's going to teach us and to correct us and to show us your plan and your purpose in our life. Asante kwa sababu ataenda kutufundisha na kutuelekeza, kitukosoa na kutueleza katika njia za uzima. Inscribe and put your word in our minds and in our hearts. Andika neno lako ndani ya mioyo yetu and let your word be the mirror of our life na neno lako likaweze kuwa kioo cha maisha yetu in the name of jesus christ kwa jina la bwana yesu kristo amen and amen amina amina we are going to read from the book of genesis uh, 
13 tutasoma kitabu cha mwanzo 13 then we read other verse chip other books later alafu tutasoma vitabu vingine baadaye i will begin then pastor amos will interpret later genesis 13 verse 14 uh, mwanzo 13 14 or rather let me begin from the book of, uh, let me begin from verse 10 mstari wa 10 pale samahani Lord looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan toward Zoar was well watered like the garden of the Lord like the land of Egypt this was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah so the Lord chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and say, uh, no the so Lord chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out toward the east the two men parted the company Abram lived in the land of Canaan while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tent near Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked and, and were sinning greatly against the Lord. Verse 14. Then the Lord said to Abram after Lot had departed from him, look around from where you are to the north and south, to the east and west, and all the land, all land that you see I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make you I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth so that if anyone could count the dust then your offspring could be counted. Go walk through the length of the and the breadth of the land for I am giving it to you. Amen. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. This, uh, this is one of the best uh, stories of the Bible whereby man and God communicated to us uh, about the blessing that he is going to give to man. So today we am going to talk about forming the right pictures. You know, pictures give us a reminder of what we 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 have or we did or when you take when we have a, an album unajua picha inatupatia habari ya maisha yetu unapokuwa na kitabu chile cha kuweka picha it reminds us of things or, or things that happened in the past when we took those pictures inakukumbusha juu ya mambo yaliyotendeka wakati uliyopita unapohifadhi zile picha so everything man does here on earth kwa hivyo kila kitu ambacho mwanadamu anafanya hapa duniani is what was purpose in the spirit so there are pictures that we we have taken in the from in the past and those who are of stone age like me and others we used to have pictures and another negative that used to present to represent the picture whereby if you lose the original picture you have the negative that is going to produce another picture like the other one na maana yake ukipoteza picha moja ulikuwa unatumia so it kept the original in the negative form na kwa hivyo picha asili yake iliwekwa kama vile ilivyokuwa kwenye album so when we form the right pictures na kwa hivyo tunapofanya picha zinazo zilizo sawa we create our future the way the pictures are being formed in our mind tunaweka maisha yetu ya usoni kama vile alivyobuniwa ndani ya mawazo yetu when god spoke to abram he told Abraham look around where you are Abraham to, to the north and south to the east and west all the land that you, you will see i will give to you so god was not god gave abraham the liberty to see as far as he can see so there's a seeing of the optical eyes and there is the seeing of the eyes of the imagination oh yes you can picture you can project something in your in your mind so God presented to Abraham 
Kwa hivyo Mungu akamletea Abraham a been, uh, the, the, the opportunity for him to form pictures of how far he's going to receive his blessings. Nafasi ya kuwaza ubali ambao ama ukubwa wa baraka ambazo angepata. When we read the book of Romans he says that God promised Abraham the whole world and to his offspring. But when we read, actually the Bible says he was told as far as your eyes shall see. So Abraham pictured the whole world. So Abraham pictured the whole world. And he was given whatever he was he saw. So in life, we have to train our mind to be forming the right pictures of how we want our life to move. Because pictures speak volume. When God called Abraham, he gave him a picture of how he shall be. And he told him in Genesis 15, Verse 1 says, And the word of the Lord came unto, unto Abraham in a vision. Later it says, The word of God came into a vision, that is verse 1. Then God took Abraham outside of his house at night. He told Abraham, if you can count the stars of the heavens, then your descendants can be counted. What God did, he took Abraham from that, 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 that place that he was contained in. When Abraham was in the tent, he was asking God who is going to be my heir for God to bless him he had to take him out of the tent at night and create pictures in his mind by telling him to look at the stars and that is how his descendants shall be you see God communicates to us now he expects us to brood the pictures of what God is saying to us so you, 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 God has spoken to you you know the best way to form pictures in your life because I'm talking about forming the right pictures. Form the right pictures using the word of God. In the book of Joshua 1.8, a scripture that we all know. Okay, not all. Other people don't know it. Uh -huh. A few people know it. Joshua 1 says, uh, Ah, let me open the Bible. This, this uh, things that will embarrass us one day. One eight says, Ah, moja nane inasema hivi. Sasa kikuwa manikiwa hapa juu. Amin ya kutupereka binguni ningemisi barabara. Let me use the Bible. Tumie Biblia. It says, Inasema, God, let me begin verse 7. God told Joshua, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law of my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. That you may be successful wherever you go. You see, the, this, the law will make him success, successful. 
Verse 8, now the one that I want to dwell on says, Keep this book of the law always in your lips. Meditate it day and night. Now the part of meditation is, it is to take this law and you put it in a picture form always in your mind. There's a book, in the book of Psalm 71, David says, Thou has increased my greatness. So when you meditate, when you want to become, when, you, when, when God says meditate this day and night, you have to draw these pictures in your mind. Thou has made me Thou has increased my greatness. Now you have to see yourself great. You have to see yourself being served. You have to create pictures of men ministering to you. You have to see people coming to you because you are great. The scripture will remain just the logos. Until you take the, the, the law of the Lord and you start meditating day and night by forming the right pictures. And he says, when you meditate day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. King James Version says, uh, let me check what he says. Then you shall, then, I love the King James Version. He says, for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success after you meditate day and night when you, when you form the right pictures you have to train your mind somebody now is thinking Julius is teaching the new age. The Bible is saying meditate day and night. There is no new age. There is nothing on the earth. There is nothing new. That is what uh, the book of the, the, the book of Ecclesiastes says. Ecclesiastes. It says. When you read the book of Exodus, uh, uh, let, uh, let me prove God appeared to Moses. And he told Moses, I want to send you to Egypt. You see, Moses saw himself being killed. But God now wants to form pictures in his mind. Being a deliverer. So in Genesis 4, I want to prove you there is nothing new on earth. Everything God, everything done here on earth was invented by God for his children. But this new age and other people has, have come. Those who use spirits, spirits, they have taken what God has said meditate day and night God asked Moses what do you have in your hand Moses said I have a rod let's read Exodus 4 Exodus Exodus Bearing something. Hamstone, do you have Hamstone. And the Exodus 4, it says, in SMIV, Exodus 4, verse, look at Genesis. Uh, 
Exodus 4, 6. Inasema hivi. The, uh, hey, the Lord said, one, verse 1, Moses answered, what if they do not believe me or listen to me? The Lord, and, and they said the Lord did not appear to me, to you. Then the Lord said up to him, what is in your hand? You see, Moses is asking a question, how will they believe me? Now, and now, God is turning Moses' mind and eyes to see. Na sasa Mungu anageuza akili za Musa na macho ili aweze kuona because when we say we have nothing kwa sababu usemapo hauna chochote actually we have something ah uh, ama kweli una kitu and he said the lord said kwa hiyo akasema Mungu anasema what what is in your hand ni nini kilichoko mkononi mwako he said a staff akasema nina fimbo the lord said throw it on the ground bwana akamwambia hebu itupe chini moses threw it on the ground Musa kaitupa chini and he became a snake na ikawa joka and he ran from it na Musa akaikimbia listen to verse 4 sikiza mstari wa 4 then the lord said to him kisha bwana akamwambia reach out your hand and take it by the tail nyosha mkono wake wako kamshike yule nyoka kwa so the, so moses reached out and took hold of the snake and he turned back into a staff in his hand. This said the Lord. He saw that they may believe that the Lord, the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, has appeared to you. So when, we, when God gives us something to use, when you slack and you slow down the enemy will use it Moses was, al was alone on the mountain when God gave him this demonstration when he appeared before Pharaoh when he threw his stick down the magicians were there with God when, Abraham, when God was speaking to Moses. Were they there? They were not there. Yet they also threw their sticks down. And they turned to a snake. So everything God gave us, the enemy goes ahead and uses it. So when we want to use it, we think it is of the devil. Moses was the first man to throw a stick down. In the entire world, it became a snake. Then the, the witches, those sorcerers, they followed the suit and did it. But first God created an image in Moses' mind. If Moses did not see a stick turning to a snake and back to a stick, Moses, Moses, I am sure that guy could not have gone. Moses could not have gone there. I'm talking about forming the right pictures. Many, a few, one year ago, two years ago, God, God used a certain scripture to show me what I'm teaching you today. I was just meditating. And he, he showed me in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. You know God called Jeremiah. From verse 5. And they, had, they argued, Jeremiah, I'm a boy, I'm so young, God tells him, don't say that. But for God to send Jeremiah, so that Jeremiah can know God is sending him, God had to form some pictures in Jeremiah's mind. God is a God of pictures. So if you are sent of God and you have no 
any form of message of, of, of God in you. Because God first gives you the message. Then he sends you. When you send yourself, you will go minus the container of the, of, of the message. So you will become an empty thing. So God God open Jeremiah's mind. He gave Jeremiah pictures in verse 11 and he said, Moreover the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? You see, God has to be concerned with what Jeremiah is seeing. And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. You see, Jeremiah is explaining to God what he has seen. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well and for I am ready to perform my word before God performs the word of, of his word in Jeremiah's life he tested Jeremiah's sight he asked Jeremiah, what do you see? And this boy who was calling himself a boy, he said, I see an almond tree. And God said, you have seen well. So whenever you form the right pictures in your mind, especially if those pictures in your mind are of the word of God, he says, I will, you have seen well, I will watch over my word and perform it. So he began by forming pictures. When he formed the pictures, then God said, now you are ready to go. I can read the book of, uh, book of uh, Zechariah. Let me check. In the same form, God appeared to Zechariah, to, to, the, to the prophet. He told him, Zechariah 4 verse 1, now the angel who talked with me came back and awakened me. As awakened me, uh, awakened me out of his sleep. And he said, you see, he walked him from the, from the sleep. The angel asked him, what do you see? So I said, I'm looking and there's a lampstand of solid gold with a bowl on top of it. And the stand and, uh, and, uh, and on the stand, seven lamps with seven pipes of the seven lamps. Let me jump all the other verses. And he said in verse 4. No, let me read verse 3. Two olive trees are by it. One at the right of the of the bowl. And on the other on the left. So I answered and spoke to the angel who talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? What are these? Then the angel who talked with me answered, Do you not know what are these? And he said, Verse 6, Concerning the pictures that Zechariah was seeing, This is the word of the Lord, To Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by, my, by, by the Spirit of the Lord. You see, the angel had first to, to see, to show him pictures. Then he explains to him, this picture is the word of the Lord. This Zechariah, book of Zechariah 4, verse 6, 
I used to read it every day. And I will try to form pictures. Of what? Not by might and not by power. So I will imagine if it is not by might and not by power. Then how powerful is the Holy Spirit? I will do it every day. But one time. I had an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit showing me how this scripture works how the Holy Spirit has the power I don't have time to explain to, to show you, I to let you the encounter it was two times but it was awesome so what I'm saying to you the Bible says in the book of Psalms you desire truth in the inward man so when you are meditating when you create pictures you must create the right pictures to erase what the enemy is speaking to you there was a man of God in South Africa I had him many years ago he's a white man now he's almost 90 this man of God God called him but he did not have ability to preach so he went to his farm he has acres and acres of, of land and he had planted so many plant, uh, maize plantations and they were very tall so there's a road in between this side when you go uh, uh, kilometers there are maize plantation and behind him also he took the bible he opened the scriptures and he was telling the maize he read Isaiah 61 the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor to preach the gospel of, 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 of healing to those who are sick healing the sick he preached and preached he read the Isaiah then he went home then he came again he preached to the maze over and over over and over he was forming pictures in his mind a few years later the same spot the same spot he had a man's gathering there were thousands and thousands those days there were no these, uh, what would you call them this, to take pictures above so he had to take pictures through helicopter because people were so many and there were only men they gathered in his farm to come and hear him there were hundreds of thousands the way he was preaching to the maze the way he was preaching to the maze with the picturing this maze as people forming the right pictures in his mind a few years later it manifested and it became what he was picturing in his mind when I say there is a power in picturing the right things I know what I'm saying for me to be who I am today I had to picture myself being it I had no ability to become and to do what I'm doing but one day I was given a calendar of Reinhard Bonke way before I got saved so I stuck it on the wall but years by when, it, when it's Time has ended, had ended. ended. It was still on the wall. It was 2000. And I gave my life in 2002. So it was still there. 
One time I heard the voice tell me You can become like him I looked It is the calendar of 2000 In 2004 it was still on the wall. When I heard those words, I went and wrote it on the calendar. This is who I will become. And I was not doing anything in church. I had no qualification of being a pastor. So from that day, I will look at the calendar. I will visualize myself until the day came God opened the door if you had asked me on 2004 2002 will you become a pastor I will, I will tell you I am not near there but through the power of picturing because the spirit showed me I brooded that it is your work to brood the right pictures. The chicken cannot lay eggs. Then it goes and brings another chicken to, chicken to come and brood them. The one who, the gave, mayai. The one who lay eggs is the one who has, who, who has that warm. So wewe ndio kuna joto hiyo picha yako. You must bring it forth. If God has called you to minister, you must brood the pictures of you doing it. For as a man thinketh, so is he. May God bless you so much. Mungu We know you have been blessed. And today you know we know you are going to form the right pictures in your mind. And God will cause you to walk in the immense victory. Every time God spoke he said behold. Behold, he gave us the ability to behold fast. The old is gone. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. It is your power of right picture. Behold, he is doing the right thing in your life. Amen. Behold you in the right house. Behold you in the right bed. Behold you acquiring clients. Picture your business growing and growing and growing. Picture yourself. God causes resources coming your way. In Isaiah he says, See, they are gathering themselves to come to you. So God is gathering them, but he's telling the prophet to lift up his eyes to see they are gathering themselves coming to you. It is your responsibility to picture what you are supposed to picture. To cancel what the enemy has put in your spirit and meditate on the law of the Lord. Right. Father God, we thank you. thank you. Thank you for your awesome work. Thank you for reminding us the ability that is in us. As the spirit was brooding upon the earth in the book of Genesis, so he's brooding in us to bring the fourth right pictures. Manifesting our future in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word be brooded in our spirit. That we will be walking in the right consciousness. When others say there's a casting down, we shall be brooded as they say. There's a lifting up. And we will see ourselves being lifted up. Yes. Father, we thank you. You said you have increased our greatness. You have said 
Umesema, David said, you have made me a wonder unto many. So when we walk, we will see ourselves as wonders. In our minds and our pictures, we will be seeing people ogling and staring at us. Because we are different from them. Then it will manifest. Then it will manifest in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for every giver. We pray that they will have the right picture of their giving. Yes. We, we pray that they are going to attend the right spirit and the right picture of you. Zuri opening yako. the windows of heaven for us. We shall have the right pictures in our minds and in our eyes. Seeing our devourers being defeated by God. We shall see the right pictures of Psalms 91. We shall see ourselves divinely protected. Thank you for increase of resources. We thank you for supernatural natural provision. From today we create pictures of supernatural provision. Miracles upon miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you very much. At the bottom of the, of the screen, you will see on the, how to give. There are details. How you can give. And you can follow it. Don't just give without revelation. Don't give without revelation. Form pictures in your mind. That God does not short change. And when you give. See yourself receiving back. We give without expectation. You must give. And you must also form a picture of expecting birth. Yes. And God of all grace will bless you. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the, and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of our Father forever and ever. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. God bless you. It's not by might. It's not by power.